Um, we are a boutique catering company here in Boston. We do uh, mostly private catering. Uh, we, we do a lot of partying, so a lot of cocktail parties, um, and uh, we like to party, so we like to feed people. And how long have you been in business? I have been in Boston 12 years, um, and yeah, we've been in business about 12 years here. So it's good. We moved from Connecticut and to Boston. And what's your background? Uh, fashion, actually. So yeah, I went. I worked with a Japanese fashion designer. Um, I worked in New York City, Connecticut, all over, basically, and sort of traded one uh, medium for another. Fabric buttons for food. Well, uh, you know, uh, I think a logical question: How did you go make the transition? What happened to make you go from buttons to food? Um, oh, unless they're edible. Buttons. Yeah, <laughs> and there are. Yes, there um, are. We. I, I grew up in a house uh, where there was a lot of entertaining, and um, so I went into the fashion industry because there was both fashion and entertaining growing up, and I sort of got uh, sick of the uh, fashion world and traveling and everything that entails. And I used to have dinner parties, and people would say hey, you should do this, you know, for, for a living. And so I decided to go to culinary school, and uh, the rest is history. Oh, so you did go to culinary school. I did go to culinary school. Straight out of culinary school into your own business? Uh, no, straight out of culinary school to Dublin, Ireland. I worked there for about six months doing an externship, um, which was amazing. And then I was part of opening crew with the federal, Michael Presnell, um, in Agalon, Massachusetts. So I was uh, opened his restaurant with him. I was part of the crew. And uh, so I worked there for a few years and then decided to move to Boston.